Right guys, I have a uh, microphone now, so I don't know if it's going to be any better. We'll soon see in uh, editing. I um, just want to show you, I've actually now finally got the front lip and the rear lip um, come. So turn this around. So it's looking a lot better. And the good thing is the front lip does not come in two. <laughs> so that's, that was a huge relief. So these bits are the side spats um that sort of sit like that on the side of the rear bumper and go around that's obviously where the exhaust sits um yeah and then you've got the rear bit so that's your side bit that's the middle bit of the rear and that's the other side bit and the front lip i went with a walled uh, executive style so it's going to look really sick i think um and obviously the one i've got at the minute is the tte one so it's like a very low lip whereas this will come up quite a bump i mean this little cut out here is where the fog light sits so that'll give you a rough indication um and then oops and then that lip there will sit inside the grill so yeah let's uh get cracking because i need to sand uh, sorry finish sanding this off um finish sanding the sides off and then this literally is just a quick scuff it's literally just a quick scuff and then i can uh, get to priming and uh send it off for paint which my mate johnny is actually doing so thank you so much for that mate um obviously i will put in a picture and everything after it's done obviously um so yeah we'll uh we'll see how it goes Right guys, let's try that again. I've just done a uh, just done a take and didn't have the mic on. So let's try that again. Um, basically, uh, yeah, I've done a hell of a lot since the last video. I've had a lot of family problems going on. So I've not done much recording the last couple of weeks. So I, I've basically got the side skirts primed and the whole rear primed. I've got the front splitter uh sanded down and i'm just doing some filler work now so that's it all sort of scuffed up to be fair there wasn't much need to do it's literally just like a few imperfections from the molding and stuff like that so just doing the edge uh there's a couple of like i said a few like imperfections um just like little holes really in the uh fiberglass and that so there's all that um uh, this is the rear spat so that's ready to be wet sanded in here um that's the rear valance bit as well the other rear spat you will have noticed there's wheels um too much on that yet but i have got some new wheels proper vip wheels see if you guys can guess down in the comments um obviously i will hmm, i'll see if i can throw a teaser up or something of them um but they are very uh very well known vip wheels so um yeah all i can say is the brand is something when you go to do your job what do you call your job it, it's it's your yeah you might be able to guess that i'm not sure um this so that's the valance the side skirts have also been primed as well the other one is here so that's all been primed that's just a bug on it get off dickhead um so yeah they've all been all been primed um so that's ready basically to be wet sanded which i'll be doing all in one go um be wet sanding more than one go um so yeah so now i've just got to wait for the filler to dry then i can wet sand that down um uh, sorry primer that then wet sand everything down and then it'd be ready to go off for paint yes and she's finished guys right so and i've literally just been wet sanding so that's why it's everything's wet and moist um but yeah so i've wet sanded the side skirts down so literally everything now is ready to go um this is the front splitter i think that looks really good obviously it is shiny because it's wet um but yeah and then there's the rear spot which is not too bad again stuff like this where you can see here look it's like a little dimple but i'm not too fussed because that's going to sit like that and the exhaust is going to be hiding that anyway so you're not going to see that so i'm not fussed um and then make sure i don't break shit um and then there's there's the rear spats so everything's ready to be sent off so 
And then what I'm going to do to mount it is because this bit sits inside the grill. I'm going to put that in, pull it all back. I'm going to put a couple of self tappers there and there. So do that to bring it all, like pull it all back. And then I'm going to put 3M tape there and there and all the way around across the grill um to keep that back and then obviously the same with these so i'll do uh which is sand so i'll do <laughs> self tap as that end pull it all in um 3m tape onto the bumper and then uh, and then yeah so she's looking all right so now it's just a case of getting them painted which is going to be the fun part johnny's got to have them two to three weeks so it'd be uh should be picking up next week or the week after so it'd be another month maybe just over um to get them on the car and stuff so it's not too bad in all fairness so yeah hope you guys are enjoying the uh the vlogs i know it's not as good as like i said like in the beginning like adam alzi or anything like that um but then again what is so you know um i don't have a giant compound i've got a shit shed to play in that's it uh, so yeah it's uh it's definitely been an experience filming all of this so i hope you guys do like it if you have any uh questions or any uh remarks please put them down below like comments not remarks <laughs> fuck's sake um so yeah if you have any comments or anything just let me know down below and if you do want me to do stuff like this more than the gaming then let me know and i'll start to shift stuff and um so I see it, like I said, I'm just getting over my anxiety and stuff. So it's it has been a wrong roller coaster of stuff. Like I've done a couple of takes and videos and gone, what the hell? Um so but I've done a few and I've gone, actually that's not too bad. So if you guys have any uh questions or anything, please let me know down below. Thank you.